So this is going to be a walkthrough of this journal here. This one is a 4 by 6 And it measures 4 inches. You can see all the little jewels, the charms. This originally was going to be my black and white journal and it turned out um, completely different. And so on the cover, it's a soft cover, I put a doily that's a heart shape. You can see that. And I pinned it at the point at the bottom, wrapped it around the spine, pinned it, and then the photo is just pinned on the front. It's attached to some canvas and cheesecloth. And so that is my second great grandmother on the cover. And on the inside of the cover, I have a pocket. And I just have some vintage photos and an envelope. And then instead of putting a tassel on the outside, I just pinned uh, some antique lace onto the cover. And you can see I used. A fabric clamp for the lace. They come in different sizes, different colors. You can get them on eBay really cheap. And so the first page um, is also a canvas page and has a pocket, the journaling card of who the journal belongs to. And so everything in this one here, lace-wise, is antique lace. And there's lots and lots of writing spaces, spaces, space. And I believe, if I remember correctly, there's 320 pages. It's just as thick as my large journals that I do. It's just smaller. And so the envelope has some paper in it there. It's a tuck spot. This tag opens up and has a couple sheets of paper to journal on. Some music paper. I inked the doily. I made a little envelope out of a doily. It's a picture and there's a paper in the envelope. Address card. And then this tag here, I layered the papers. And I learned that from Lorena. And I'll put her YouTube link down below. And she's also on Instagram. ticket, some book paper, graph paper, antique lace, there's a charm. And in here there is a envelope that has some writing pages in it. It's upside down. A little tag comes out of the tuck spot there. I layered my papers again. So I have that bent down on purpose. Some more graph paper, some vellum, some antique lace, address card. It's good to save all your addresses. Um, if you hand down uh, your keepsake book, then people can look it up. And this paper here, I really like. That's behind this photo of the train. It's sheetrock paper. You can just buy it on a roll for $2. But it, it's got a thickness to it and some fibers, and I just really like how it, how it looks. There's a little bingo card behind it. And then here... I cut out the word keepsake from a dictionary. Some journaling paper. Cut like a tag. There's a tuck spot there. So this is a lot of writing space in this one. And then here's some antique lace and glassine envelope. 
There's a couple envelopes in here with some different laces in them. A little ticket. A photo behind some lace. Another tuck spot. And then this is a page out of a book I have that shows um, different antique laces. Just kind of tore it up around the edges. And I'll show that book at the end if you want to see it. Book page, some graph paper, the photo, tag. And if you like these little roses here, um, if you go on eBay and just look up the chiffon rose ribbon, can't see if you can see that. Um, comes in all different sizes and colors. This little flip here has a tuck spot on this side. And then a little pocket on the other side. And then here's some antique sari silk in a glass and envelope. And then there's some lace I attached on the inside of the bag there for the trim. And then here's another one of the layered, torn paper kind of look there. And that's also a pocket, tuck spot. We'll tuck behind the ticket. And then in this dictionary definition, I did the word token. So you can see it's not heavily embellished, lots of writing space, just a card with some lace on it, right on the back of it, some vellum, it's a little telegram in this little envelope here, in this tuck spot. And on this tag here, I did the definition thoughtful. I'm doing this at night, so the lighting's really poor. Um, in this, I did a little paper bag here, and there's some antique lace. And that one. And then there's a side tuck behind it with a just a file card, index card type paper, some graph paper. I think there's nothing on that page. Just all journaling space. There's a little tuck behind there, and then a little tuck behind the tag that says vintage. And then you can see on this pocket here, it has that torn paper layered look again. And I'll put Lorena's link down below to her YouTube channel. And then I have the index card. There's a little side tuck there, and then there's a tag behind it, the little chair. That tucks into that. Some vellum. And then here's a little tag that opens up for journaling. You just punch the hole in the front only. Another little tuck spot, music paper, tuck spot. Those were my second great grandparents on the other side. They were on my dad's side and then my grandma on the cover is from the other side. So lots of writing space in this one, envelope has some paper in it. Again, here's another pocket with that layered look from Lorena. And just a couple things inside there. And this is just another one of those tags that opens up three ways to write on.
So nothing really fancy. It's kind of simple and plain. But I like the simplicity of it all, and then it can be used. In the back we have... They have these little miniature newspapers at the craft store um, that open up just like a newspaper. And they are by the dollhouse items. And they're really cute. You get like 20, 20 of them for two or three bucks. A little photo in the back. Uh, last page again is a canvas page. And then the back cover also opens up like the front. And I have some old postcards in here, old playing cards, library card pocket. And then it just ties shut. So that's that one. Again, that one's a 4 by 6 and it's 4 inches, 4 inches thick. And then I'll show you that lace book if you wanted to see that. Let me grab it here. I'm going to move you for a minute. That's right under my camera stand here. All right, so this is the lace book I got. I got it for $15 on eBay, and it's got 266 illustrations of antique lace in it. And it's a pretty big book. Nine and a quarter by six, inch and a quarter thick. again. So I just thought it would be neat to put some pages of this into my journal since I like to use the antique lace. So if you like that, it's just called the history of lace. Thanks for watching.